According to Forbes, the Russian Federation is planning a large-scale offensive on Kupiansk and is deploying weapons there. However, the armed forces of Ukraine have been holding back the Russians for six months and are ready to respond to any scenario, states Ola Senegubov, the head of the Kharkiv Regional Military Administration, but, the media reported that Russia is allegedly bringing 500 tanks, up to 600 combat vehicles, hundreds of howitzers, and 40,000 troops to Kupiansk. The article states that the capture of Kupiansk is the main goal of the Russians. A slice of Kharkiv would be an election day gift to Putin from the Russian army in Ukraine, Forbes writes. At the same time, the article states that the number of Ukrainian troops on this part of the front is about 20,000, and hundreds of tanks, combat vehicles, and howitzers. But people and vehicles aren't the problem for the Ukrainians. The problem is ammunition. The United States was one of the biggest donors of 155mm shells for Ukraine's best big guns and pro-Russia Republicans in the US Congress cut off aid to Ukraine last fall. Since then, Ukrainian forces' daily allotment of shells has fallen by two-thirds to just 2,000 rounds. Russian forces meanwhile fire as many as 10,000 shells a day, thanks to a steady supply of ammo from North Korea, Forbes writes Russian army has been advancing in this direction since February 2022. Until now, the occupiers have not abandoned their intentions to recapture the liberated territories, as this is a logistically important area for them, armed forces of Ukraine have been repelling enemy attacks all this time. The armed forces are ready for any further scenarios, enemy actions, and quick response to intelligence results. Perhaps most importantly, Ukrainian workshops are building explosives-laden first-person view drones, tens of thousands of them per month. As artillery ammunition becomes scarce, Ukrainian brigades are flinging more and more FPVs at the Russians, sometimes thousands per day all along the 600-mile front.